Hey guys, Hopper holding down the fort here. Uh, let's just jump into this. This is a matchup that actually doesn't happen that often at the house. Usually uh, numbers only only goes corn in our uh, friendlies. I'm actually really surprised to see him going leaf bit. He is trying to tone down the amount of corn that he uses because he uh, doesn't like... Oh my... And that is the number special right there. He loves, loves, loves to get Fox off the stage. Uh, his side B is like a trigger. If he pulls that little trigger, he will spike you if you are within header distance. For safe opportunity now, he's gonna... Regardless what happens, Sage generally does not let numbers hold momentum that much. Which is like a very huge contributing factor in this matchup. A lot of this matchup after uh, numbers gets above 100 is going to be numbers going to the ledge. He's going to try to wait for, uh, for Sage to make some kind of laggy option and then take advantage of that. Very nice. Numbers is at kill percent right now. He's got to be very careful, but he's got... Oh my goodness, the string! Numbers originally got Sage off the stage. Using a combination of uh, back... of aerials. Forward air, forward air. And he side beat. Numbers could not avoid that. And at the end of the match... Numbers just pushes him away. And that crosses him up, gets the first hit, and that is impossible to avoid. Good stuff, numbers. Three, two, one, go! And hopping on one of the mics is a Devin 3000. Devin. Hey guys, oh, what do we have? Oh, numbers? Let's go, Sage. Yeah, Sage, Sage's Fox has got mopped. Uh, we fit trainer numbers. That double right. blind pick working against them. So it, so it was Fox, we fit? Yep. Okay. And uh, what was it like, the stocks? <laughs> He got two stocks. All right, like two 40%. Stock, oh, darn. It was really bad. All right. And now we see the fact that like he's going chic, but he didn't switch off, even though it was just like, OK. I think Sage was expecting the corn, because uh, Numbers has always had that policy of, if yep. you play chic or Diddy, I'm instantly going corn against you. But the, nah, not the case here. I mean, to be fair, we did see uh, Numbers go Wii Fit versus Vinny on, at Xenosaga. Yeah, that was weird. So I'm not super surprised. He definitely seems to have gone over some demons. Oh yeah, he doesn't get angry anymore about Sheik. <laughs> Let's see if that stays the case. I don't get a turn. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, so now we're seeing a much closer game based on what you told me. Uh, with Sage in the lead by like almost double. Sage didn't have a good opportunity. Ooh. Ooh. That was tricky. I like that. Numbers went just high enough where we wouldn't pass through the platform to land on it, making Sage think like, oh, maybe I could diamond cutter him. And then he went fastball right to the edge. So he had to, like, second guess. Catch on the roll. Waiting for it. This is, is this winner's semis, right? No, this is winner's quarters. I, no, my match with numbers is winner's quarters. You're right, this is semis. My bad. Yes. All right, so Sage, unable to, like, really, like, Continue the damage flow and like or secure a kill. So now we got an even game here. Whoa. I really like that. Trying to like punish that air dodge. Oh my, oh my god. What? She's just back here. She's just back. Just like try it. To see what happens. Just do it. Oh god. Oh, oh no. no. They both jump. I think he thinks he he thought he had a jump, so he didn't up B right away. Okay, that's cute. The up throw up air is true at certain percents, but I don't think this is one of them. No, he's definitely just looking for, like, bait and air dodge. See Sage trying to throw out these kills here. He just wants something to land. He's not trying to put himself in too much danger, but doing that, bouncing fish to recover was really unsafe. You can eat an F smash from that. Still not able to get the kill here. This is really just the issue with uh, Sheik in general, is that once your opponent has rage, what do you do? Yeah, do what you confirms? What confirms does she have? Only what is she going to do? Down tilt you on the edge and up smash? Like, you just don't... It's so easy to not let that happen. Mm -hmm. But oh, this is numbers 2017, is and Numbers doesn't tech. Dead. But he has the rhythmatic mashing. Rhythmatic mashing. 
What was that? Back air? That was back air, yeah. Wow, okay. So sweet soft back air. It doesn't kill until 180 in the middle of the stage. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Sage is completely unaffected by numbers' as movement, which I really adore that fact. Is he dead? He's dead. That's He's hilarious. Dead. Oh, numbers is not having it. Oh, look at that. Like, mm, 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 I'll pull my hair. And Sage is like, yeah. <laughs> Sage is like, I made you. <laughs> the kill oh, what, Sage what with the ultimate pressure. Here? Yeah, beautiful. Mm. Mensa. What happened? Mensa. Beautiful. Whoops. Sup, guys. Okay, peace out, guys. <laughs> Hi, guys. It's all right. Because Sage, Sage is really evaluating, evaluating what just happened. Nice hoodie, by the way. Yeah, nice hoodie. Good hoodie. All right, so we're going back to... Was game one on uh, Town City? FD. Okay, so... All right. So we're going to try that over again. Um, I would say, like, well, let's see if Numbers can adapt to that. But uh, let, let's see if Numbers could just not kill himself. <laughs> numbers has issues with that Because he was doing really well. And he just kind of dropped the ball. But let's see if Sage can get into his head and just mess with his thumb so he can't... A B right. To be fair, Sage was technically winning that game until he got footstooled. Yeah. Oh so, Lord. like, I think they both had a hand, both had kind of a silly kill there. Something you saw right there is when he went for the spike, he did the really slow one to try and catch him. He was just a little bit off to spike him into the ground, and he would have definitely died oh, yeah. at that percent. Absolutely zero percent chance of recovery. Okay. And that's the sad thing about Sheik sometimes. Although I think he could have converted into something a little bit better, but it was just like, one, two, what, eight damage? Oh All right. Seeing a bit of the reverse of stock one, where now Numbers has the two to one ratio lead. <gasps> Is that gonna, no, just okay, good. Them. I love it when Numbers like does these different shenanigans, like how can I hit this ball differently? I love it. I need to send the ball across the stage. I know, I'll down smash. I'll point at it. So you saw Sage try to like perfect time catch him right when he activated Kaioken, but he like mashed the, uh, the soccer ball immediately. But while there might be a window there, maybe it's very small. This is really what's annoying for numbers is uh, when the sheet just stands at the other edge of the stage and just keeps yep. throwing needles. Yep. Uh, Sage knows that and is just trying to Ooh. take advantage. Ooh. Sage got a little antsy there, whiffing a grab, but oh luckily numbers with two, but it's not gonna matter. He exploded! He was gone! He got a little hungry there, and so he ate the back air. He didn't know exactly where it was. Uh, when it got deleted so fast. You know, the game is really being played at uh, Numbers' pace. Which is not good for Sage. Okay. I think... <sighs> Did he, he air dodge that, so yeah. he just waited. Just like baited him and then did it. But it is a little reactable. A little bit. Okay, this is gonna kill. Very nice. Alright. So we're back in this. Now we have. Eh, down 50%. You know, I would say normally that is not really a big deal at all. So, But until Sage actually lands those hits to like build some damage, it can be a little bit difficult just because of the, sh the kill power okay. that she doesn't have. Not to mention the fact that uh, once she has enough range, a lot of her links at low percent stop working. Yeah. So maybe 20% more, and she's not going to have as many options for damage dealing. Like that, right there. That would have worked. It didn't work. I think he uh, had to do something different because of the platform, maybe. Maybe jump? I don't know. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Just waited. All right, but we do have an even-ish game here now, only with a deficit of 10%, less than 10 now, we're going to take slight lead here from Sage's side. Numbers going to be chilling on the edge until he can like see a little opening. Sage being a little antsy with those F-tilts, letting him slip by. But it doesn't matter, we're going right back over there. Alright. Numbers. I was going to play a little more patient. I don't know how much more patient you can play. Two minutes left, jeez. 
Well, if that is the case, that that is looking better for Sage if he can just build percent and then like uh, have time on his side. Ooh. He wanted that. Sage smartly opting to only go for one F tilt because that is actually pretty minus. So if you want to catch him off guard the first time, go ahead. Second time, you're gonna get punished. It's minus 15 on, on block. Yep. He's just looking for the sun salutation. Oh, Ooh. is that gonna be the stock? No. This is chic, helper. Hey, man. Is this town no and city? Is this town and city? It's town and city. Look yes. at it. Yes. Wow. So Sage is going to take that. <laughs> Sage is going to take that. 2-1 uh, being down game one. So we had to do the reverse 2-0. And mean? killing him off the top game three. Kind of close. Kind of kind of nervously close for Sheik. But, uh, yeah. You never have the lead of Sheik. Yeah. Never got it. Only until the very end. And even then, it was by just a little bit. Yeah.